Welcome back. In this video we will change our hook block view. We will call two functions in this function and assign the output of those functions to the content of this block. Okay. Okay, as you can see I started an empty variable XML content and assign the value of whatever is the output of Nova read XML and then there is another variable temp the value is the output of Drupal function Drupal get form so this is a way to create a form where we call Drupal get form and give it a form name. So that form name we are defining here on line number 28 and the Nova read XML is the same function we defined in step 3 but for right now it's only one string of HTML the rest is commented out so that you can see how the output of this function is being um, displayed in the content. So let's see what these changes, uh, how these changes affect in our Drupal install. So here is the form which is being generated on line 28 with a submit and stuff from Google API this is the HTML from Nova read XML in our next step we will bring the exact function we defined in step 3 and output the content of that function as the content of our block so let's do that okay in this we have a new function city zip form submit this is the submit handler uh, whatever information is entered or data is entered in this form comes to the city zip form submit so if you want to see how we are looking at the data let's output DSM form state so here if you see closely we are assigning form value the value of form state then values then ZCD let me show it to you we enter here say Fremont now it is giving us the forecast of Fremont and this is the output of the DSM so here is the input then ZCD Fremont if you would enter Las Vegas input ZCD Las Vegas so whatever value is entered is assigned to this form variable and this form variable is passed into a Drupal function called variable set and then we are accessing the value of that variable set 
with another function called variable get and assigning the output of that to place. Now let's see. If we do not enter anything, we just submit empty form. Drupal does not know what to do. But here I am checking if this variable place is empty, I am giving it a default value. Okay, now if we submit empty, it will still give us the forecast of Union City. Now I will check the weather forecast of London. And it's giving weather forecast of almost every place. Well, I think how about moon? Let's check the weather of moon. And once again, Drupal is confused. We need to check what the value is entered and is that something we can work with or not. So that job is done by form validate. And next step we will create that function Here is the function city zip form validate. We are accessing the same value of the form and we are checking if the form value is moon. We are calling Drupal function called form set error. It takes two arguments. One is the name of the form, the name of the form field and the message we will set. Let's see now. we enter moon and it sets the message and also highlights the area so our module is almost complete uh, it is not ready for production still some more uh, sanitization of the um, data which comes in from the user needs to be done but you can have a basic idea how the data flows from one function to another and how you can build your module. Thank you for watching. Bye.